USS Delbert D. Black, designated DDG-119, is one of the most advanced guided missile destroyers currently serving in the United States Navy. This vessel represents the cutting edge of naval warfare technology, built to protect carrier strike groups, conduct independent operations, and serve as a formidable symbol of American maritime power. Named in honor of Master Chief Petty Officer of the Navy, Delbert D. Black, the ship also carries a legacy of leadership, resilience, and dedication to sailors who serve at sea. What makes this destroyer truly remarkable is how it balances lethal firepower with versatility, advanced electronics, and survivability in a package that remains effective across modern naval missions. At its core, the USS Delbert D. Black is an Arleigh Burke-class destroyer, part of the Flight Touye subclass, which means it benefits from decades of evolutionary improvements in design and performance. This class is often regarded as the backbone of the U.S. Navy's surface fleet, measuring about 509 feet in length, and with a beam of roughly 66 feet, the ship strikes a balance between size and maneuverability. Its displacement of around 9,200 tons gives it the stability to carry heavy weaponry and advanced systems while still being agile enough to operate in contested waters. Despite its considerable weight, it is powered by four gas turbine engines that can produce more than 100,000 horsepower combined, driving the ship to speeds in excess of 30 knots. For a vessel of this size, that speed allows it to respond rapidly to threats or reposition itself in support of other naval units. What truly sets this destroyer apart is its weapons and sensor suite. Like other ships in its class, it is equipped with the Aegis Combat System, a highly advanced integrated naval weapon system that can track and engage multiple threats simultaneously. The ship carries the AN Spy 1DV radar, a powerful phased array system that provides long range surveillance and target tracking. This allows the Delbert D Black to detect incoming missiles, hostile aircraft, or surface vessels long before they become a direct threat. The ship's combat information center can then coordinate a response, whether that means deploying missiles, activating electronic countermeasures, or guiding aircraft and allied vessels in coordinated defense. In terms of firepower, the USS Delbert D. Black is equipped with a Vertical Launching System, or VLS, that can carry a wide array of missiles. This includes the SM-2 and SM-6 surface-to-air missiles for air defense, the Tomahawk cruise missile for long-range land attack, and the RUM-139 VLS rock for anti-submarine warfare. With 96 VLS cells, the ship has the capacity to carry a mix of these weapons tailored to its mission. This gives it flexibility, allowing it to act as a shield against aerial threats one day and as a precision strike platform the next. Complementing these capabilities are its deck-mounted weapons, a 5-inch naval gun that can engage surface targets and provide shore bombardment, close-in weapon systems like the Phalanx CIWS to deal with incoming missiles or aircraft at short range, and advanced torpedo systems to counter submarines. The combination ensures the ship is never defenseless, no matter what type of threat emerges. Beyond sheer firepower, the ship's design emphasizes survivability and multi-mission performance. The hull is built with enhanced shock resistance, meaning it can withstand the impact of near-miss explosions. Its electronic systems are hardened against cyber or electronic warfare, ensuring it remains operational even in complex environments. The destroyer also carries advanced decoy and countermeasure systems to confuse incoming missiles and reduce the chance of being hit in the first place. This layered approach to defense makes the Delbert D. Black not just a powerful attacker, but also one of the hardest ships to take down. A key feature of Flight 2A Arleigh Burke-class destroyers, including DDG-119, is the inclusion of hangar facilities and aviation capability. The ship can carry and operate up to two MH-60R Seahawk helicopters. These aircraft extend the ship's reach for anti-submarine warfare, search and rescue, and reconnaissance. Helicopters can deploy sonobuoys, launch torpedoes, or track surface vessels far beyond the destroyer's radar horizon, multiplying its effectiveness. This aviation integration makes the destroyer not just a surface combatant, but a flexible, multi-dimensional platform. From a crew perspective, 
The USS Delbert D. Black houses around 320 sailors, including officers and enlisted personnel. Life on board is a blend of rigorous duty and modern amenities. The ship is designed with efficiency in mind, so crew members can operate complex systems with fewer people than would have been required on older vessels. Automation and integrated systems reduce workload, while modern berthing areas, dining facilities, and fitness options help sustain morale on long deployments. The Navy has made strides in ensuring that ships like the Delbert D. Black can maintain crew readiness during extended operations far from home. What makes this particular ship stand out, even among its peers, is the legacy of the man it is named after. Delbert D. Black was the very first Master Chief Petty Officer of the Navy, serving as the senior enlisted advisor from 1967 to 1971. He was instrumental in shaping the professional development and welfare of enlisted sailors, setting standards that remain in place today. Naming the ship after him reinforces the importance of leadership and the bond between sailors and their vessels. For the crew, serving aboard DDG-119 is not only about operating cutting-edge technology, but also about carrying forward the legacy of someone who championed their profession. Another unique aspect worth noting is the role this destroyer plays in modern naval strategy. Today's environment, threats can come from state actors with advanced missile systems, from stealthy submarines, or from asymmetric groups deploying fast boats or drones. The USS Delbert D. Black is built to handle this spectrum of threats. Its sensors can pick out small, fast-moving targets amid cluttered environments, while its weapons can deliver precision strikes or defensive fire in seconds. By integrating into carrier strike groups, amphibious ready groups, or operating independently in contested waters, the ship enhances the Navy's ability to project power and maintain security in vital regions such as the Pacific and the Middle East. For a layman trying to understand its importance, think of the USS Delbert D. Black as a combination of a shield and a sword. It protects larger ships like aircraft carriers by detecting and intercepting threats before they can strike while also having the capability to deliver devastating firepower of its own when called upon. It is not the largest ship in the fleet, nor the most glamorous, but it is often the first line of defense and the steady workhorse that makes modern naval operations possible. Its ability to perform multiple roles, air defense, anti-submarine warfare, land attack, and surface combat, means it can be trusted to adapt to almost any mission. Looking at its overall design, performance, and mission set, the USS Delbert D. Black represents the culmination of decades of naval engineering and operational experience. It blends speed, firepower, and survivability in a way that few other vessels in the world can match. While much of its cutting-edge technology remains classified, what is publicly known already demonstrates its place as one of the most formidable surface combatants afloat. For the U.S. Navy, Having ships like this ensures they can meet threats across the globe, maintain freedom of navigation, and reassure allies of America's commitment to security. For the public, it serves as a reminder that behind every sleek hull and powerful radar system are sailors working tirelessly to ensure the safety of their nation at sea.